I'm already getting frustrated again. I had... <laughs> oh boy. My neighbor's a jackass, by the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey guys, what's happening? Uh, been kind of lazy this week. Uh, really just been taking a little bit of a needed break here, plus it's been really, really hot, so I really haven't felt like doing much outside. But, um, back when we were doing all the videos on the Mustang, uh, you may recall that I did the AJE suspension in the front and the AJE suspension in the rear and I said that I wasn't going to post that video because I felt like it just made me look like an idiot and I've gone back and I've watched it a couple of times now and I realize that it's the whole ordeal could have been avoided just by better instructions the instructions are pretty bad, and they tell you that you can call them or email them. I tried emailing. I don't think I ever got a reply. Uh, whenever I finally got the cradle test fit into the car as best I could, and we got it welded up, and I went ahead and I hung the lower control arms in the car, and then we left for the night. So we came back the next night to work on the car, and it just caught my eye that one of the control arms was just hanging way out versus the other. I mean, they were like this, or like this. I can't, I can't remember, it's been so long ago. Anyway, one of them was straight up and down, one of them was at an angle. And I took them out and I'll show you this footage. Okay, I want you guys to see, this is a machine surface table, even though it's, even though it is beat up a little bit. This is a paper towel. I'm just going to lay it down on the table. There's no tomfoolery going on here. Nothing here. And I want you to look at this. When I set these two down, look at the difference in the angle. So I posted those pictures on the AJE Facebook page, uh, or the AJE Classic Fours. Well, I can't. I can, I can never remember the name of that page. But there's a bunch of cool guys on there. Anyway, I posted the pictures of that on there, and I mean, there were a lot of laughs and chuckles and whatnot, and uh, deservedly so, I suppose, you know, because, I mean, the, it was pretty comical looking at the parts. And so I called AJE the next day, and I can't remember the fellow's name I spoke with. It's been a while back. Anyway, he was one of the owners, I assume. And he said, yeah, I saw your pictures. That's an exaggeration. And it hit me the way wrong way, man. I'm going to tell you what. It did. <laughs> oh, boy. It ticked me off pretty good. But I think what he was trying to say was that when you sat them down, the further out you go, the more exaggerated it becomes. And I'm like, okay, you know, so we we had a little bit of a lively discussion, which wound up with me hanging up on the guy. So after I walked away, I uh, collected myself and calmed down, and then I called the guy back, and we just had another conversation. And he said he has no problem replacing the parts if they're bad. And he said, just send me a picture to show me how bad the angle actually is. So I did, and he sent another one out right away. So I'm giving him credit for that. Uh, he took care of me like he should have, and I, all he wanted me to do was send my old one back. I sent my old one back, got the new one in, everything was great. So uh, I've really resisted putting this footage out there because, I mean, it just, it, uh, Boy, it was frustrating. It was a frustrating ordeal. Um, and it could all be alleviated with just some better instructions. It really could. So let's get on with the video. And uh, you guys try not to wreck me across the coals too bad because, uh, like I say in the video, I'm not, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But, I mean, 
I can follow directions when they're good. <sighs> Hopefully for the last time, I say that again. You love to say that phrase. Uh, Hopefully, this will be the last time I drop this rear end down. But we got this in here. I just wanted to make sure that the car don't, you yep. know, fall over this way. Um, if we do take the rear end completely out. So are we changing this out for the? Yeah, because the the tour? rear suspension I'm putting in here is that uh, the AJE um, Fox Body style suspension. It's uh, a four link. We're getting rid of the getting rid of the uh, leaf springs. springs. Okay. And we're putting four link with coilovers in the back. Progress. Yep, progress. All right, so let me uh, do one less thing or two less things for you to bump your head on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, let me use that. get the suspension cradle and we'll stick it up there and let me get a marker and mark out where we need to grind if you need real quick thank you okay this I guess I could look at the directions and see if it actually tells us something I think you tried the other day. Huh? <laughs> uh, 
they like those instructions. <laughs> Look at that picture. Wow. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Place cradle up into frame rails and position lower tabs to bottom side of frame rails. This will generally give you a base location. These are so the worst pictures I've ever seen. What are the lower tabs? These? I think so. There are no detailed videos of this. Uh, of this process. I mean, and... If people are relying on those directions, they're going to be lost as last year's Easter egg. Just like I am. Alright. Uh, I think it goes this way. where I got lazy. I didn't want to drill out all those spot wells. And I'm still not going to. But this is the flange left over from that big shock plate cross member thing. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. And uh, I just cut it out. I just... Um, so what I'm going to do now is get the get the small death wheel. Or I'm going to get the big death wheel. And just trim right here and right here to let that thing go all the way back where it's supposed to. So what did I do with that marker? Instead of Got just me. beating it in? I don't want to, I mean, I'm a hack, but I ain't that bad. Okay. That, that's a last resort. Doing that. Probably 
bunch of people on the internet laughing at me right now. Mm -hmm. Dumbass, you're doing it wrong. I wouldn't be doing it wrong if they had good, direc good directions. I guess I could measure from the from that down to the spring bolt at 10 and 11 sixteenths. That's 10 and 3 eighths. So it's down further on this side than it is that side. No, wait a minute. Yeah, this side is up higher. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let me just make absolutely sure that I'm not doing something wrong here. Remove spot wells to secure a shock cross member floor and frame rails. Hidden spot wells on both ends cross member will not be accessible and the ends cross member will need to be cut in order to remove it. But none of the shock cross member is in our way. Okay, so that's that's not an issue. Place cradle up into frame rails and position lower tabs to bottom side of frame rails. This will generally give you a base location. And from their little terrible picture there, I mean it looks like that's basically what we got. If bolting cradle into your car mark holes from cradle onto frame rails, these holes will be drilled to one half inch through the frame rail outside or wheel side need to be opened to three quarter inch hole. This will allow crush sleeve to be installed. Use supplied hardware and sleeves. If welding frame into car, once located, clamp in place before starting to weld. So they, they give you absolutely nothing as far as a base dimension, a datum, nothing. Nothing to say, okay, if it's this far away from this thing on the car, then you're in the right area. No, it just says stick it up there. So, that's... I mean, I know I'm a moron, but, I mean, come on, man. Y'all can do better than that. All right. Well, I'm not leaving here tonight until this thing is test fit in, and uh, I'm happy with that, so it's, uh, I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up yet. It just bolts right in. <laughs> oh, boy. That old public enemy song, Don't Believe the Hype. <laughs> I can hear Flavor Flay right now. I ain't gonna sing it because I might get struck now for it. Or demonetized, even though I'm not monetized. And have no ever. <laughs> I never have a hope of being monetized. Okay. Do what? Okay, I'll show you guys what we're dealing with right here. Um, if you can see right here, this bar or tube is still hitting the floor pan, and I've already beat the living crap out of the floors. Um, you know, I mean, this is one thing that, you know, if they said in the instructions, floor pan may need clearancing then fine. That's, I mean, we're modifying the car. I get it, but at least tell us that, because I mean, instead of just letting us beat our head against the wall and say, well, what am I doing wrong? But I mean, you see, I've clearanced the floorboard here with the hammer, and it's clear, but I mean, still on this side, it's hitting on the corner too, so we're going to have to, and see, we're not even, oops, sorry. Uh-oh, there we go. Here, just let me make a fool out of myself there. There we go. See, now we're not even 
we're still not even up against the frame rail here and we're still hitting the hitting the floor here so I'm gonna get this thing before I leave tonight Okay, let's try this again. I can't wait till we get to the interior. Ooh. Huh? Can't wait till we get to the interior and start cleaning and pull that seat out and look what the floor looks like. Yeah, that's probably not, not going to be pretty. I believe that might be it. Just looks like it's higher on this side than this side. It is. This, this right here. Oh, there we go. Just I can do that. Well, anyway, we've got it test fit in there, so I could live with that. I mean, you know, at least we can actually get it in the car now. I guess it. I guess it's just an old car thing. We're all spoiled nowadays of having bolt-on everything. Um, cars are built much better now than they used to be like this. More spec. Yeah, well, yeah, they've got a lot tighter tolerances on stuff nowadays. Um, cars like this are loosey-goosey and. That's why they didn't last but 100,000 miles back then either, so. Uh, but I guess this is what you what you deal with. You get frustrated, and I probably acted like an idiot the whole time down here, but it's just one of those things that you got to work with. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to, I am not going to relent on the fact that AJE can do better with their instructions because they are absolutely terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And the really bad part about it is, is if you've got time to sit down and call them, they'll answer the call. I haven't personally done that, but other people that I've read on the internet, most of the forums say, yeah, they're super helpful on the phone. I've emailed them twice. I think the first time I may have gotten a reply back it was a couple of months, I think. A couple of months went by. I finally got a reply. I uh, I sent them an email about this problem we're having with the uh, with the upper mounts for the coilovers. Still haven't heard back from them. Um, and guys, I mean, we're your customers. I mean, if I have this experience with your product, I'm never going to buy it again. So, what's What's easier, taking a little time and making better instructions for your customers so they don't have to call you or have an experience like we're having right now trying to figure out what we're doing because we know we can't just email you and get an answer. I mean, I'm sorry I'm ranting, but this, this has been pretty frustrating. So. Uh, I, I don't know what to say at this point, guys. I mean, I'm, I just got super frustrated with this thing. I mean, it's in. It's my goal for today was to, was to get some transmission work done and get this rear suspension cradle um, test fit into place. And I guess I'm just, I'm just a stickler for good directions. I actually do read directions. And when they're that bad, it's 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 frustrating. It's very frustrating. I mean, it's in there. I mean, you can see, just you know. But I did have to wall up the floors pretty good to get them to clear. And I mean, if it would have said that in the directions, I would have known to expect it. So that led to a little bit of frustration, not knowing if I was just doing something wrong or if. The part was made wrong or what but 
that that all goes back to my harping on good instructions. Um, some base measurements would be nice instead of just saying hold it up to the frame rail and that's where you should be. I mean, come on. I mean, we 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 can do better than this. Once again, their directions go straight from All right, we're going to jump right here. Position rear end under car to attach control arms to provisions on housing. After positioning the rear end, the lower control arms will attach to the factory bracket locations of in the added anti-roll hanger. Well, okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, I know what it means because there's a bracket that there's another bracket that bolts to the bottom of the lower control arm mounts. But see, it goes straight from this installing control arms. The next thing Let's see here. That's removing that factory shock cross member. That's putting their cradle in. That's two more pictures of that. This is installing the control arms. And when it gets to going over the control arm mounts, that's what you get. A crappy picture of a shock that's already installed with no kind of detail. I mean, really, so. Whew. AJE Tech Support, you can call them or you can email them. But I would suggest calling them if you got time. So that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. I'm, I'm done complaining. I know you're probably tired of hearing me complain, but this is the kind of stuff that people need to know before they just go buy this kit and buy into the hype of watching that whatever that video there's a video that's been on youtube forever about this and it's about the only one that's really covers the rear suspension install and it just said oh yeah just drill a couple of holes and it bolts right in well i can tell you it's not just going to bolt right in you're going to have to work for it and if you're anything like mine you're going to want to have to beat your car up like this to get it to fit so keep that in mind guys and we'll catch you next time